Hey everyone, Andrew Stormer here and welcome back to Minecraft today. I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to build crazy pirate ships like this and this one over here. Surprisingly, this was my first ship I've ever built in Minecraft that's actually really good. Like I've tried ships years and years ago, but this was the first ship I've built in years and holy cow, do I like it. How I came up with this ship and that ship over there is you need to have reference pictures. So these two ships, they are based off of two ships from Sea of Thieves, actually. And I actually don't have that game. It would have been a lot easier if I owned the game because then I could run around the ship itself and put it in. But instead I had a couple of freeze frames and a couple of video clips. The biggest tip I can give you is have reference pictures. This ship, you see how it kind of slopes outwards the further down it goes. And if you didn't have a reference picture, you would never have thought that ships did that. Reference pictures will help you make really realistic looking ships all around, but a reference picture doesn't get a ship from real life into Minecraft. The reference picture just makes it look real, but you have to keep the proportions and put in all the details and the framework and everything. I had no idea how to make a good ship in Minecraft before now. Like I made good houses before now, but no good ships. So I just started and I was trying stuff with the curves and everything of the hull of the ship. And I was thinking about how it should go and how I can add in more depth and detail. And I found that just like a house, you put in some framework, even though the framework looks completely different and you bring in similar details, just like a house. So it might seem like a super daunting task and completely different from a house to build a pirate ship. But at the end of the day, it really isn't any different. It's just the shape. It's not a box. It's just a curved hole instead. One cool little tip is if you're using oak for the wood, put spruce under the water line and it'll look like it's a wet part of the ship versus the dry part up here. Having some ladders is nice. I don't like the ladders too much. It'd be nice to have like trap doors or something, but ladders don't go on those sadly. Have some cannons on the deck here and it, the wheels are just upside down grindstones. You go up here, this is where the anchor gets dropped. This is the, the wheel, the ship wheel, and I just just use the grindstone instead of like trap doors around something instead because I think that could work on a giant pirate ship but a small pirate ship like this it doesn't really work you'd be blocking your view like having a three meter tall uh, ship's wheel I like that you can look down here to the map and everything there that's how tall the mast is it is really tall it's like more than half the length of the ship. It's probably two thirds or longer the size of the ship. There's a crow's nest up here with another bell and it, there's a flag on top. The cross beam here, it actually is wider than the width of the ship. So that's one tip there. Noobs, they just make a flat straight down square of a sail, but to make a really good sail, the sail at the top is flat with this entire beam going across, but the sail comes to two points out here. So it's not where it's flat on top and bottom, it's flat on top and then it's a curve on the bottom. It's a very organic shape. You just need to make it look like it's in motion, that wind is actually blowing in it. And don't forget all the tons of ropes and everything going to the sail to make it turn and uh, put it up and down and everything. The connectors for the ropes, I use grindstones and anvils a lot. The first rope goes from the top here to the bottom. Then you have the rope connecting to the top and bottom that connect somewhere in the middle and go to a tie somewhere on the ship. And then you have your last rope that goes to somewhere in the middle of this beam here. Going into the ship, we have some barrels there. We have just some stuff in here, some desks. We have a sword, a chest, whatever. 
This is super cool. I love this part of this ship so much. The canvas or the wool or whatever this is, the cloth with a few beams holding it up and it having the map here. So I just took a map and put them in item frames of the nearby village and everything. And you can even see the ship that we're on right now. Also the lantern hanging down is super nice. And then this is just some more ropes around because why not? It gives such a cool organic feeling to the entire build because ships are a very symmetrical build. And then you add in all these ropes and the sails blowing in the wind and everything. It's the mix between symmetry and not at all, the very organic shape. So this one, just, you know, just throwing some ropes around the beams. Why not, man? The ropes make this part feel a lot more enclosed. This is all open to the sea. Like that would all be water down there, but the rope, it just, brings it in, it makes it feel a lot more homey. This ship, it goes down a little bit more. There's a little brig, there's a keg. Messy it up, throw barrels everywhere, throw some chests, maybe have a light if you need it. Remember that you need a post under your mast because actual ships have these too. Because a mast doesn't just sit on the deck of a ship. It goes through almost the entire ship. You'll see this more in the other pirate ship, but you have these kind of just beams, I guess. I don't know what you call it. I just used a spruce, the stairs, and then a trap door, and then going across. Starting off with the hull of the ship, it has the slope out and then the curves, so it's a very circular edge right there. And back here, this is super cool. So this is a rudder back here. And this has this really cool curve bringing the detail back in. This part comes out a little bit from the rest of the hole. The back is just craziness, man. The back is insane. There's this piece sticking out. There's the captain's quarters. There's this deck. There's whatever this thing is. And then there's these beams going around and the curve and the rudder and everything. The whole thing's crazy. These all look like portholes for cannons to come out of. But in this version of the ship, it's fake. It doesn't even reach the inside of the ship. There's these little just covers right here. I don't know. And the ladder. Here you can walk the plank. Here you can look down into the hull of the ship. And it, there's the staircase down into the hull of the ship. This is where you drop the anchor. And this one, it has a little up section at the front. Speaking of this thing, we have this little design here because it's not always just a post sticking out. They have fancy designs to hold them up and sometimes you have like a person or a statue or something on the front. The top deck has eight cannons. And once again, you can see the ropes going to the sails. So where you have this one that splits off to the top and bottom, when you have this one that goes to the beam going across. There's just so many ropes on this one. The ropes though are the final touch though that brings the ship into life. Like if you just look up, that is freaking beautiful. You feel like you are on a pirate ship. Two on this one, there's actually three on this one and two on the back one. And there's a crow's nest up here. Going all the way up on the crow's nest is so crazy. Like look how high up you are. Staircases on both sides and it, there's the third mast. It's actually behind the steering wheel of the ship. It's so awesome. Like you could do your own pirate battle or pirate let's play or something like that on this ship. Some people, they get carried away and they make pirate ships way bigger than this. And they might look good, but the thing is, is if it's to scale with a Minecraft player, this is probably the scale that it is. Like, I don't think it would be any bigger than this size ship. Having it any bigger, it might look awesome, but you wouldn't feel like you're on an actual ship. You just feel like it's not to scale. Part of the pirate feel is the cramped, damp, wet, just messy, craziness. You're going for a pirate feel, not just the look. The look brings out a feel. Here's the captain's quarters. 
You go in here, you have a little chandelier, and it, there's a, just shells, bad stuff. I really like this desk where there's some glass out here. Who knows if they'd actually have glass, but you can look out the back of the ship, and he has almost a throne. It's more of just a chair with a back on it than a throne, but, you know, most people, they don't even put backs on their chairs. On the side, he has an entrance out to the deck on the side of the ship, which that's wrapped all the way around, which is so cool. You can come by behind here and this covers you. It's awesome and this doesn't go to anything and this has some ropes on it too. You know, you just put ropes everywhere, man. Also, there's these things sticking out places. You just gotta add the detail in where you have it and like these things, I wouldn't have thought to put those on there unless I had a reference picture. I'm not going over all this stuff just to show you the ship. I'm going over some of it so you can get a feel for some of the tricks that you can add to your own builds. So going down into the hole here, this is only the first level of the deck, but you have one of the masts there, the back one right there, and then the front one is way up there. This one is a little bit walled off to some storage in here, and you know, you just throw barrels everywhere, you just throw tables, kegs, you know, all the things. This is the table for a map, I didn't end up putting a map on it, but just barrels everywhere. Also, you have some posts in here too, because the ship's gotta be sturdy. You can see in this ship a lot better of what I mean. So you have the normal decking, but then you have these beams, I guess you call them, through the floor and the roof of, I guess it's the deck, but trapdoors, uh, slabs, and stairs and everything, and it makes it feel so much more cramped. Here's a staircase back here, to the next break, go way back. Coming around the brig, you have more stuff, and this is actually part of the mast. The mast comes down about here, but then this, it's some fancy weird shape thing to help hold it up or something. I have no idea, I'm not a ship mechanic. Once again, just barrels everywhere and beams going places and the beams going across and everything. So, you know, just throwing some lanterns here and there, make it feel dark and cramped. Those are the two big pirate ships I've built for the time being. I'm gonna build some more pirate ships in the future. I should mention that why I built these ships in the first place was one, because pirate ships are cool and I wanted to build pirate ships in Minecraft, but two is that I was gonna put this ship on the Avantis server. And I never did because this ship, you can see, it is so much better than anything that I built on the Avantis server. And it just put my house to shame. I was thinking about putting this ship in front of my dock on the Avantis server, but I wanted to build it in creative before I did so because it's a lot easier to do stuff in creative, especially with a ship and underwater and everything than in survival. One last thing to mention is with the 1.12 update, the water update, where you can water log uh, stairs and slabs, that you could make the hole with a bunch of stairs and slabs and smooth it out more than I've done here. This, you could copy paste into the water in some world, when if you had it stairs and slabs, you would have to go in after the fact and then waterlog all those slabs and stairs. So I think it's easier to go with the blocks, but you can do slabs and stairs if you wanted to. That's it for my tips and tricks for how to build a Minecraft pirate ship. So if you like this one, share it with a friend, and if you want to see more like this, hit subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.